Hallelujah. My name is Sister Liberty Basil. I'm living at number two, Ola Adira Close, People's Bus Stop at Jambadi. I joined Choose in 2007. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. Saturday before last, I used our choosing hymn book. I began to sing song and praise God. Then, reaching night on that Saturday, I got a revelation. We all went to a particular place. When I got to that place, there was a man that went before me. One woman that was bending stood up, told the man not to enter that place. The man obeyed the woman. He did not enter the place. Reaching my turn, she said, I just spoke to one man now not to enter there. Who come be you? I want to enter. I said, I am a choosing. I will enter this place. So when I told the woman that I'm a choosing, I want to enter there, the, the woman dragged with me. We dig her When I wanted to grab the woman and fall and make him make her to fall down, I discovered I had a still voice that said, Hey, sister, you are choosing. Choosing doesn't fight. That is how I left the woman. And I told the woman, next time you try it, you pay with your blood. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I went to the place, it, the place just, just, it was an altar. They kept, they tied so many people there. I saw my mother. My mother is still alive. I saw my senior sister. And I asked them, what brought you people here? They did not utter a word. All they said, they, they, they said, oh yeah, let's be going. So when we were going, we saw matches. I carried the matches. Then I saw a lantern. I took the lantern away from the woman and we left. As we were going, we saw a very gigantic gate and the gate, they padlock. And I said, hey, God of choosing. I took, as I said, hey, God of choosing, two bunches of key just enter my hand. I grab it. I gave it to my sister. I said, open this gate. Let us pass. As she opened the gate, she wanted to close. When we passed, she wanted to close the gate. I said, no, don't close it. Because my dad in the Lord used to say, when you save yourself, save others people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, on Monday, that was Sunday morning. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, similar dream occurred. But this time around, I couldn't wake up. When I woke up in the morning on Wednesday morning, last week, I paralyzed. My eye begins to turn me. If I close my eye, it will be I'm seeing coffin. They carry coffin from my upstairs to downstairs. I say I am a choosing. Choosing not to die. I cannot die. I disagree with you. Before I know, vomiting and stooling at the same time. I now crawl. I use my stomach. I crawled. I open my husband's room immediately. I say, Daddy, Daddy, wake up. He did not listen to me. I said, wake up. The battle has set. When he stood up, he said, don't play with me now. Stand up now. Stand up. I said, this is how I see myself this morning. Because when I woke up, I went to him. Let us pray morning prayer. But I couldn't stand up. My leg was paralyzed. So, glory be to this God of choosing. Hallelujah. When I, he started prayer, it was as if it is small thing. He now started prayers. Reaching after six, he called us. When he called us, us did not pick her call. Now call daddy to seven. Daddy just prayed. So I said, with my last strength, I now told daddy, see what happened to me. I, I, I woke up this morning. My eye is turning me. And I'm, he said, I cancel afflictions. I said, amen. Before I finish, daddy prayed. And I said, amen. That is how it was. I see the poor cold water on my body. My whole, the whole system kept quiet. I slept like a baby. Auntie. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. So, as soon as our Geo prayed, yes, sir. What happened to you? I slept like a baby. All the sensation stopped. Unlike before, if I close my eyes, it will be a, I will see coffin from my upstairs to downstairs. Then, if I open my eye, my eye will be. The eye will be turning me. The heart will be rotating. I say, hey, God. But after that, this prayer, I slept like a baby. That was Wednesday last week, around to seven in the morning. Praise the Lord. That was how you recovered from the paralysis. Yes, sir. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate him? Choose 
and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the way, nurse came to check me. You know, I said, hey, sister, your BP is high. I said, no, it's not BP. I know what I'm passing through. She checked it was almost 300. He said, your BP is almost 300. I said, no, it's not BP. She now give injection and drip me. But yet, I couldn't use my two legs and stand and even walk. So, reaching in the evening, she now, when she came, she said, I should come and watch choosing cable. I should stop staying in the room. She should come out to the parlor. I now manage myself to the parlor. After watching, God has sworn to bless you crusade in my sitting room that Wednesday night. My beloved brethren, as I was watching the crusade, when daddy started prayer, he said, get ready. If you are not working, you are going to work. Hey, my husband said, oh yeah, mommy is not on. You have to work. There is no time. You have to work. <laughs> as I was sitting down on the floor, what I had on my knees was, come, come. Then I did not stand up. I never even know that miracle has taken place already. Hmm. So after the whole prayers, on the table choose it praise the lord hallelujah somebody that used stomach to crawl used knees to walk i stood up i walked majestically to my room uh -huh. choose it praise the lord clap your hands on the god of the chosen wow thank you for hey this god of chosen is so great he's so great <laughs> It's so great. God of choosing is so great. It's so great. So on Thursday morning, I now told my husband, okay, when you woke up after our morning devotion, he now told me, Mommy, what do you want to eat? Let it prepare for me. I said, No, don't enter my office again. I will prepare food for you. I'll prepare for myself. Amen. After then, when I come to the overall power of God, the, to the topic was time for time to experience the overall of his power. Yes. When I experienced that power, power came over me. I have to walk from my upstairs to downstairs, even to my gate. I said, devil, you are a liar. This is me. I'm walking now. Glory be to God of choosing. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Restoration has come. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Are you there? If you want to be a choosing, be a choosing indeed. Mm -hmm. So that when it happens, God of choosing will vindicate you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my daddy in the Lord. Daddy, God who has called you to this ministry will never forsake you. Amen. We never put you to shame. Amen. And another prayer that prayer is taken from the book of Joshua chapter 7, verse 25. The Bible says, why has that troubled us? The Lord shall trouble you from this day. All the kingdom, all the powers, principalities from the air, from the north, from the south, that are troubling our dad in the Lord, troubling our visions and among them. This God of choosing will arise and trouble them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another prayer is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 35, verse 19. The Bible says, Let's not that the enemies of my dad in the Lord and his entire family wrongfully rejoice over him Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let them know it with their eyes that hate him without a cause in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 17, the Bible says, Let no man trouble my dad in the Lord. Let no kingdom, let no power, let no forces trouble him, trouble entire members of his family because. They be on their body the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then I pray for the chosen members worldwide. Heaven at last. Amen. I and my family, heaven at last. Choosing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him.